I've got a very quick tutorial for you today on how to create a short code so that you could update the year in your WordPress footer really easily. I know a lot of people out there do it manually, but if you kind of just want to set it and forget it, I'll show you how to do that. And it might spark some other ideas as well on what you could create short codes for. If you're new here, my name is Michelle and I release weekly videos on marketing, websites, and all things design. So if you find this information helpful, be sure to give this video a like and subscribing doesn't hurt either. Without further ado, let's jump in. Alrighty, I'm gonna make this super quick for you. So the first thing that we need to do to create a short code is we are going to have to edit our functions file. You could do it right directly in the functions.php file if you wanted to. I like to be a little bit more organized when I'm creating my files. So what I end up doing, I if I have a lot of different things going on, I'll create separate PHP files and then I'll just do the require once call for them in the main functions. So it's just, you create a folder and then you have individual files within that folder that you can edit. So this is what that would look like if you wanted to take that route, you don't have to. So the theme PHP is where we're actually going to have our code here. Now, if you wanna grab this code for yourself, you absolutely can. Check out the link in the description. It'll have a link to my blog, and then I'm gonna put this code in there that you can copy and paste so that you could utilize this yourself if you wanted to. But what this is basically doing, it's creating a short code and we're going to output the year so that when we have our website footers in WordPress, we don't have to manually update the year every single year. This will be something you do once and then you can just kind of forget about it. But seeing how this is structured, you know, this might give you other ideas on how to create short codes for other reasons. So if you do have a creative idea on how you use short codes, please leave those in the comments because I'd love to know. So again, that's all we have to do. You put this code in your functions file and then you'll just save it and then it'll be good to go on the front end. So let's take a look at my site and how I use this. So I have my site pulled up. I use Divi, but you can literally use this for any WordPress theme. You don't have to use Divi. I just use it because I love it. So what you will do is you'll just type in your short code with the square brackets with the word year. Now, if you chose to do something else, it would be whatever word that you chose to put in there. And then that's going to output the year so that I can see copyright 2022 Michelle Schneider. So that's is really all you have to do. So it's very quick and easy. Now, if you have any questions or you're confused about anything, you know, just leave a comment and I will do my best to help you out. I hope you found this way helpful. If there are other ways in which you update the year automatically and you say, hey, there's a better way, you know, I don't know everything, let me know as well. I'd love to hear from you. I hope you found this information helpful. If you did, please give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe. It really helps me out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.